We will now see the Wi-Fi frame format. As usual, we will start the session with the outcomes. In today's session, we have only one outcome. We will see what is that. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to know about the IEEE 802.11 Wi-Fi frame format and its various fields. Let's start with the 802.11 Wi-Fi frame format. This is the Wi-Fi frame format. If you observe that there are fields such as frame control, duration, address 1, address 2, address 3, sequence, address 4, data and checksum. When we talk about the first field that is frame control, it has some subfields which include version, type, subtype, 2DS, from DS, MF, Arbitrary, Power, More, W and O. The fields in the Wi-Fi frame format are represented in bytes. All the subfields are in bits. Let's start with the first field, the frame control. If you observe this frame control, it is a 2 byte starting field composed of 11 subfields. What this field contains? It contains the control information of the frame. And what's the control information? Actually, that is dealt in the subfields. So let's see the first subfield, the version. Now, if you talk about the version, it is the protocol version. So the first subfield is a 2 bit field. If you observe, this is a 2 bit field. It is actually set to 00. zero. Why they have included this? It has been included to allow future versions of IEEE 802.11 to operate simultaneously. Just for compatibility, this field is introduced. Now let's move to the next field, the type field. And this is also a 2-bit subfield. And what it specifies? It specifies whether the frame is a data frame or a control frame or a management frame. I hope now you can recollect the various types of frames we have seen earlier. There are data frames, that is the frame which contains data, the frame which is used for control purpose or the frame which is used for managerial activities. This field specifies what type of frame is that. Then comes the subtype subfield. Subtype, it is a 4-bit subfield. It states whether the field is a request to send, that is RTS or a clear to send CTS control frame. At this time, it's difficult to understand what is RTS and what is CTS because I'm going to explain this RTS and CTS in the next lecture only. In the next lecture, we will be talking about the collision avoidance mechanism, how that collision avoidance is actually done in Wi-Fi. In order to avoid collision, RTS and CTS frames are sent. These are control frames. This field is exclusively for RTS and CTS purpose. If it is a data frame, for a regular data frame, the value is set to 0000. Then comes the next field which is 2DS. A single bit subfield indicates whether the frame is going to the access point which coordinates the communication in the centralized wireless systems. That is, if we have a distributed system, if we have an access point, when frames are directed to the access point, then this field is set to 1. In case, if frames are coming from the distributed system or coming from the access point, then the next field is used. So this is the next field which is from DS, that is a single bit subfield indicating whether the frame is coming from the access point. So if this field is set, the frame is going to the access point. If this field is set, the frame is coming from the access point. Then comes the next subfield which is MF, that is more fragments. A single bit subfield which when set to 1 indicates that more fragments would follow. So if there are more fragments to follow, then this field is set. Then comes the next field which is retry. In retry, a single bit subfield which is set to 1, it specifies a retransmission of a previous frame. In case if the previous frame is retransmitted again, then this field is set to 1. Then comes the next field which is the power saving field. It is power management field. This single bit field indicates that the sender is adopting power save mode. That is if the sender is operating in power save mode, this field is set to 1. Then comes the next field which is the more field and this field indicates that the sender has further data frames for the receiver. And then the next field is the W field which stands for WEP. This is mainly for security purpose. When the frames are encrypted, then this field is set to 1. And coming to the last subfield which is the O field where O stands for order. The last subfield is of 1 bit informs the receiver that to the higher layers the frame should be in the order sequence. That is this is in the data link layer when it wants to inform that the higher layers the frame should be in the sequence or in the order sequence this field is set as 1. 
So far we are dealt with the subfields. Now let's move on to the next field of the I triple eight not two point eleven Wi-Fi frame format, which is this field. That is the duration. Now duration is a two byte field. That is sixteen bits. It's a two byte field, and that specifies the time period for which the frame and its acknowledgement can occupy the channel. So this field is for the frame, the time period for the frame, and its acknowledgement. Then we have address one, address two, address three, and address four. And what address it should be? If you recollect, Wi-Fi is a data link layer protocol. So what address it mainly deals with? It deals with the MAC address. The MAC addresses depends on these two fields, that is, 2DS and from DS. If 2DS and from DS are set as 00, then this address one, that is, this address one, is the destination address. That the destination nodes address, and address two is the source address, that is, the source computers or source nodes address. Then address three is the BSS ID, and address four is not applicable. When from DS is set as one, what do you mean by this? It means that frame is coming from the access point. So this address two, that is, this address two is the sending access point. So if you observe two DS and from DS are set as zero one, it means address one is the destination, address two is the sending access point. Address three is the source computer's ID or source node's MAC address. When it is set as one zero, then address one is the receiving access point. Address two is the source node. Address three is the destination node. If both the fields are set as one, that is, this and this field are set as one, then address one, that is, this address is the receiving access point, and address two is the sending access point, and address three and address four are destination node and source node's MAC address respectively. And then comes the next field, the sequence field. It is a two-byte field that stores the frame numbers. We know frames are also numbered, so this field are used to store the sequence numbers. Why we need sequence numbers? Because sequence numbers helps us to detect duplicate frames and determine the order of the frames for upper layers. If we have sequence numbers, we can detect the duplicate frames. If two frames are with the same sequence number, we can understand that it is a duplicate sequence number or a duplicate frame. Also, it helps us to order the frames. Among the 16 bits, because this is a two-byte information, among the 16 bits, the first four bits provides identification to the fragment, and the rest to 12 bit contain the sequence number that increments for each transmission. And then comes the data part, which is a variable size data. If you observe, this is a variable size data, and this is a variable size field that carries the payload from the upper layers. And the maximum size of the data field here is two, three, one, two bytes. This is the field where we get the actual data from the upper layer. What is the upper layer? The network layer. From network layer, whatever we get, it is called as a packet. So this is actually the packet. Now this packet is encapsulated with this header and this trailer because the data link layer job is appending the header and the trailer. And the last field is the checksum field, which is of four bytes. Why do we need this checksum? This field is for error detection purpose. And that's it, guys. I hope now you know the various fields involved in the IEEE frame format, and also the subfields of the frame control field. I hope you enjoyed the session, and thank you for watching.